where news comes first. From the Mesilla Valley and Las Cruces to El Paso and the Borderland. This is ABC 7's Good Morning El Paso. A very good morning to you, El Paso, Las Cruces, and Juarez. I'm Stephanie Valle. And I'm Hillary Florin. Good morning, everyone. Happy Monday. Hope your day's off to a great start. We can maybe make it better with our forecast. Yes, and Nicole <laughs> Gomez is standing by. Hi, Nicole. Good morning. It's nice out there right now. Temperatures are comfortable to start out your Monday morning, but we will definitely heat up this afternoon. That will be our main issue for today. The above average temperatures, we're talking triple digits, so make sure you stay hydrated this afternoon. Clouds and radar showing us that it is dry currently, but those rain chances will increase throughout the afternoon. As well. 72 is your temperature in Las Cruces, El Paso. We're a little warmer, close to 80 degrees. 65 Silver City, 68 is the temperature out in Dimming. Coming up at 607 with your weather and traffic on the sevens. We'll take a look at your ABC7 weather net sites to get you out the door. Region temperatures, and of course, we'll take a look at your day planner to plan your morning. That's all coming up in just a few minutes. Stephanie? Okay, thank you, Nicole. And ABC7 with breaking news this morning. All Delta Airlines flights worldwide are grounded. The company confirmed the information on Twitter. Delta only saying it is experiencing unspecified system issues. No word on when Delta flights will resume. But if you are flying today, check out our travel section on KVIA.com for the very latest on flight information. No departing flights from El Paso International are being affected at this point, but two arriving flights from Atlanta are delayed so far. The 1045 flight is delayed by about 25 minutes, and the arriving flight at 251 is delayed by more than an hour and a half. A man is critically injured after a motorcycle crash on the west side. It happened around 7 o'clock last night on the 5600 block of Mesa. Police shut down all southbound lanes on Mesa from Mesa Hills to Festival. Our crews were there minutes after that crash. It sent a man and a woman to the hospital. You can see someone being treated by first responders in our video here and then placed in an ambulance. Police say the man driving the motorcycle has life-threatening injuries, but the woman's injuries are not life-threatening. Happening today, the trial for a man accused of killing his ex-girlfriend. El Paso police say 21-year-old Adrian Garcia strangled 15-year-old Alejandra Arango in 2013. On Friday, the jury heard testimony from the boyfriend of Arango's mother, Efren Guevara. In an attempt to discredit the witness, the defense brought up Guevara's criminal history, including his convictions of abuse towards women. But the prosecution asked Guevara point blank, did you kill Alejandra Arango on August 5, 2013? Guevara responded saying no. The trial is set to resume this morning at 8.30. The search continues for whoever stabbed a man this morning. Investigators blocked off the parking lot of Joseph's Lounge on the 8200 block of North Loop. It happened around 8 o'clock on Friday night. Police say it happened after a fight broke out inside that lounge. The victim's injuries were not life-threatening. A deadly explosion has rocked a hospital in northwestern Pakistan. A state official says at least 53 people were killed when a blast ripped through an emergency ward. 30 others are injured. Lawyers and reporters had been gathering at the hospital where the body of a prominent activist was brought after he was shot and killed earlier on Monday. The son of a Kansas state lawmaker died while riding the world's tallest water slide. Ten-year-old Caleb Thomas Schwab was the son of state rep Scott Schwab. The boy died on Friday while riding the Verruckt water slide in Kansas City. The slide sends riders into a 17-story drop at speeds of up to 50 miles an hour. Police are still investigating what went wrong during his ride. The Schwab family said in a statement that Caleb brought abundant joy to everyone who'd ever met him. The Schlitterbahn Water Park has been closed now for this investigation. A 20-year-old man died after being shot in San Francisco Saturday night. According to family members, Calvin Riley was playing Pokemon Go with a group at an aquatic park when he was hit. This is video of that park in the daylight on Sunday. A friend told police they noticed someone suspicious was watching them from atop a hill, but it was too dark to see a face. When officers arrived, they found Riley with a gunshot wound. He received first aid, but later died. Police are still investigating. 
Happening today, the start of a reconstruction project in an area that's pretty popular for runners and walkers. We have Good Morning El Paso's Denise Olivas live with more details on this. Denise. Good morning, Hillary. The city's Capital Improvement Department will begin construction on Robinson Avenue, and part of the new project includes upgrades to existing uh, drainage, but that will also bring better hiking and biking trails. So this means there will be some closures to accommodate workers in the area. The first phase of the project includes closing Robinson Avenue between Piedmont Drive and Sierra Crest Drive. It includes also the closure of the sidewalks in that area as well. Phase two entails a full closure of Robinson from Sierra Crest to Canyon Terrace. The project is broken down in four phases and I'll have those other closures coming up in our next half hour. But when this project is finished, the area will also see new landscaping, irrigation, more lighting, and even ADA compliant sidewalks and curbs. The reconstruction of Robinson Avenue will cost more than $2 million. Stephanie, back to you. Okay, good information there, Denise. Thank you. Donald Trump is trying to claw back into the presidential race this morning. New polls show him losing ground to Hillary Clinton after a series of damaging headlines. Now he's taking a more refined approach as his opponent gears up with a key address. ABC's Maggie Rooley is in Washington with more. After a rough week on the campaign trail, Donald Trump should have had fresh ammunition. A $400 million cash payment the White House made to Iran. But the controversy over whether that payment amounted to ransom for American hostages was overshadowed by his own comments about a video that doesn't exist. The tape is of the people taking the money off the plane, right? Friday, in a rare reversal, he corrected his own error, tweeting, The plane I saw on television was the hostage plane in Geneva, Switzerland, not the plane carrying $400 million in cash going to Iran. This likely won't help Trump's falling poll numbers. Two new polls show him trailing badly, one by 15 points, the other by nine. And in another hit, former CIA chief Michael Morrell wrote in an op-ed, in the intelligence business, we would say that Mr. Putin had recruited Mr. Trump as an unwitting agent of the Russian Federation. Republicans say Trump would do better to stay focused on Clinton's missteps like this statement on her emails. Director Comey said that my answers were truthful and what I've said is consistent with what I have told the American people. Fact checkers have found that claim is untrue, but today she repeated it. Uh, that what I told the FBI, which he said was truthful, is consistent with what I have said publicly. Potentially more fresh ammunition for Trump if he can stay on message. In Washington, I'm Scott McLean. And now a 607 weather and traffic on the sevens right now with Nicole. And she's standing by. Hi, Nicole. Good morning, Hillary and Stephanie. Temperatures in El Paso and Las Cruces. Not too bad to start off our Monday morning, but we're going to warm up by 9 o'clock. We'll already be sitting in the 80s. Pretty good indicator of just how warm the temperatures will get this afternoon. Currently on our ABC7 Weather Net site, sponsored by the Mattress Firm across southern New Mexico, temperatures a little cooler in the low 70s at the Office of Emergency Management. Las Cruces here at 72, currently a little warmer in El Paso. We're at 79, Sierra Blue. Blanca 77. We're also in the 70s, Guadalupe Pass. Our clouds and radar picture showing us that we're not seeing any rainfall right now. That will change this afternoon. We do have that chance for isolated showers and thunderstorms. Coming up in your full forecast, we have a look at the latest future track computer model. Plus, we're tracking some changes by the middle of the work week as far as temperatures and rain. Details in your full forecast. Mauricio? Hey Nicole, well traffic is looking calm across El Paso. Again, we're seeing clean and green across borderland. No major delays, incidents, or construction going on in El Paso or in Las Cruces where speeds are looking good. We're tracking 69 miles per hour on I-10 heading westbound, 74 if you're heading east towards El Paso and Highway 70 east of Las Cruces will remain open all day, so don't expect any delays over there. Let's give you a live look outside with our ABC7 Tech Stop cameras to I-10 at Wrestler where earlier throughout the weekend the entrance ramp on I-10 eastbound to Wrestler was closed, but it actually opened up about nine hours ago ahead of schedule, so things are looking good over there. Always like when they're ahead of schedule. All right, thanks, buddy, Theo. Still to come, Zika virus concerns are growing nationwide. We'll talk about the aggressive new tactics being used to avoid an outbreak in more states. This is ABC7, where news comes first. <laughs> 